Hey, I'm Russell. Um, on Rebrand this week, we're examining the idea of old age. What's it like to get old? We've all got to get old one day, you know, unless we have a tragic early death. So, uh, you know, what, what better way to examine the process of getting older and what it's like to be old in the modern world than by me dating an old tart and treating her like how I would treat a normal woman. That is, you know, with charm, kindness, grace, all those kind of things. Wendy, who we're going to meet now, is 73 years old. We're going down to Eastbourne to spend a little bit of time together and see if like the two generations that separate us are going to be a barrier when it comes to having a physical and spiritual relationship. I want to like fuse the way that you treat a woman romantically and physically with the way you treat an old person. That way you'll see if you know why why are old people marginalised? Old people are useless, aren't they? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, no, it's so like, you know, that's what I want to do. See if we can incorporate Wendy right up tight and nice into my life and see how we get on, see what obstacles there are. See if, like, you know, she rejects the idea of being sort of physical and flirty and uh, see if I can stand it. So I can overcome perhaps my physical prejudices. So uh, that's the episode we're dealing with now. My old tart. My old tart's called Wendy. <laughs> she got that lovely face. I'm going to whip and kiss her and touch her all over the place. <laughs> okay, so we're here now at Victoria Station. Wendy's already here. We've had a call. So, um, you know, I was going to get some flowers anyway, but there's even more justification for the flowers now. I'm a bit late. I wonder how people are going to react seeing us together and stuff. I mean, like, you know, they may sort of think that we're grandson and grandmother, but I'll do all I can to quell that impression by pouring and groping away at old Wendy. Oh, hello. Hi. I need to buy some uh, flowers okay. for my uh, lovely old bird. Okay. Can I, have, can I have one red rose and then maybe sort of um, five pounds worth of assorted flowers? It's like a lot of old ladies around the station. I've not actually seen Wendy yet. I don't know like, what she looks like. This yeah. has been sort of hooked up as a blind date. It's five pounds altogether. Yeah? yeah. Five pounds altogether? Yeah. I can afford another pound's worth of seduction okay. in that case. Hello there. Hello. Wendy, I'm Russell. Yeah. Mm. Hello. These are for you, madam. Oh, lovely. Um, all day. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess just look beautiful with them, I suppose. Yeah, smell nice anyway. Do they? Yeah. Right, okay. So, I mean, I think we've got a little while before our train to Eastbourne. Should we go and get a cup of tea then, Wendy? That'd be lovely. That'd be lovely. Yeah. Is there anything I can carry for you, madam? Do you want to? Yes, yeah, certainly, please. Yeah, allow yeah, me. I didn't bring much. No? No. No, well, he won't need much. He certainly won't be needing much clobber. Well, I expect that most of the time we'll be curled up in our little double bed. Oh, well, 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 well. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, we're going to get on just fine. <laughs> OK, then, Wendy. So let's, hmm, let's go and have a cup of tea then, my love. Shall I put my times on top of your sun? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's have our times and suns together. Come on, then, madam. <laughs> so, so um, if you don't mind me asking, uh, are, you, are you married? No. No? No. Because I was married. Were you? <laughs> yes. What, for a long time? About 11 years. For, for 11 years? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you, do you have children? I have children. Two, two little girls. I had two little girls. They're now big yeah, girls. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. Okay. And grandchildren? Yeah, i got four grandchildren. Oh. So, so uh, do, what ha do happened with your husband then when they don't want to Um. Yeah, we he went off as a secretary. <gasps> really? <laughs> the fiend? The fiend. What was wrong with him? He didn't know when he was onto a good thing. So, how, when was the last time that you went away, sort of, with a gentleman caller, courting, as it were? When was it? You mean last? a dirty weekend? A dirty weekend, <laughs> Wendy. That's what I was actually <laughs> trying to say. I didn't want to offend you. Um, oh, it's quite a long time ago now. Really? Yes. When I was, I think, in my forties. In your forties? Yes. And do you think, having met me, that I'm a bit dishy? I'm a bit dishy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're a matinee Actually, idol. I'm desperately sorry that I'm not 50 years young. Well, but if you were 50 years younger, there, you know, there, there would be no, there would be no point. In no, there'd be absolutely paper. no point in this, and you'd be treating me atrociously as opposed to treating me nicely. Yeah, by now, yeah. <laughs> our clothes would be flung I'd around this carriage. Yeah. I'd have probably been sick I'd in the corner. I'd be carrying your bag instead of you carrying my bag, and 
Well, indeed. <laughs> For Christ's sake, do you want me to be my bird? <laughs> I mean, I mean, wow, that's quite a... Wendy, that's a, the physical relationship has started already with the bag. The bag, bag. I'm, uh, sure, I'm sure that means something in some African tribe or something. It means something <laughs> to me. That's, that's the biggest come on I could get. That is, once someone's tapped foreheads with me, that's it. I'm in. <laughs> the, the floodgates are open. Hey. Um, I want to check in, like, check in, Wendy and I want to check in, and we are married, we're um, Mr and Mrs oh, Smith. Okay, okay, well, I'll do the signing. Yes, please. Okay, yes, well. you sign for both of us. All right, I feel quite sort of butch now. I'm in control. Hey, is there, is there pornography on the televisions here? No, I'm afraid we don't have that. No yet. pornography. That's OK, I was just checking. Wendy and I don't need no damn pornography. We should make our own entertainment. Come in. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. It's a seafront view. Look at this. Look at it. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> isn't Gosh. it fantastic? Yeah, it's kind of romantic. Ooh. What are we? Is it... <laughs> Madam, I don't know what was going through your mind then. I was just finding out if it was a bouncy bed or not. Well, I'm sure there'll be plenty of time for all that. <laughs> hey. Hi. Hello there, mate. There you are. Thanks, Jose. You be enough? Um, one moment, can I just um, check everything's right with Wendy? W Wendy? Yeah. Here is, we have um, a vase here fine. for your flowers. Yeah, that'd be great. And, um, yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. Hey, so, um, what, like, um, uh, Wendy and I are, um, boyfriend and girlfriend. Wendy is my girlfriend. Yeah? Yeah, what do you think? It's alright. Yeah? As long as you're happy, uh, yeah. I think it's okay. <laughs> as long as you're happy, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, as long as you're happy, so I don't mind. Yeah? I don't think anything. Yeah? No, no, no. Honestly, because sometimes... The only thing I like is the people to be happy, that's so. all. Uh, well, we're very happy. We're okay, a... well, if you're very happy, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, todo es, todo es bueno. Bueno, bueno. Thank oh, okay, thank you very much. Thanks, Jose. It's just some, some people don't want us to be happy, I think. Well, I don't know. This could be the weather. Uh. <laughs> 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 Enjoy your stay. Thank you very much. Thank you Thanks, very Jose. Much. Bye bye then. Take bye -bye. care. Bye. bye now. Bye. bye. Old Jose. Oh, they were judging us. If we want to be in love, what's wrong with that? Age is just a number. Right. Good, good afternoon. Hey, we fit together okay? Yes. Hello, sir. Do you think there's that, that the relationships between, you know, sort of people of different ages can, like, work out and stuff? Well, if you want to. Yeah? It's each their own, isn't it? It's their own. Yeah, afternoon, yeah. ladies. Good afternoon. Wendy and I are in love, you see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah? Would you would uh, uh, used to entertain the idea of a, a younger boyfriend? No, thank you. No, I've got a husband for you. You've got a husband? Yes, you've got. We've got these people. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah. Would yeah. you take a photograph of us? Would you mind? Okay. <laughs> okay. <Ooh. laughs> Excuse me, gents. Um, um, Wendy and I, my name's Russell, Wendy and I uh, are in love and everything. I just wondered what you thought about that. Fine. Yeah? Yeah, lovely. We're enjoying it immensely. Okay. Take care now. Yeah, I reckon they were gay. It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> That's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy's so sort of lovely and complicit and has such a lovely spirit that it uh, seems strange to try and push her beyond what she's comfortable with. But, like, uh, you know, as I say, no one has any. Uh, Pro explicit problem with us being sort of mildly physical or saying that we're boyfriend or girlfriend. But, you know, it's, it's not just about sort of shocking people, it's about getting us to think, about getting them to think and getting you to think as well, I suppose. So I suppose we're going to have to just push things a little bit further. So just ring her up now and see if I can get her to pop on a negligee or something. Wendy! <laughs> Here, are you alright about doing this swimming lock? We won't be in there for long, I won't do that to you. I trust you a lot to be able to expose myself like this. Uh, Why, well, is, is it, are you, are you shy about no, it? it's just that after you get to a certain age, you don't like your body very much. Really? 
Oh, I see, that's another thing I want to talk to you about now. Well, didn't you worry? But it's not, not I mean, making... I've got some guys sort of say to you, I feel like sort of shrieking at some of these gorgeous young things. You know, I was young and gorgeous once. I had a gorgeous figure, and I used to do, I mean, I used to do, a, I did actually do a couple of um, new top shots. No. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Cool. Need, need, need photographs for a photographer. Right, let's go. Let's 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 go to the swimming pool and then we'll just uh, have a bit of a swim. Just. One, it's just like a frivolous, jokey thing, just to see how people react. But I think people will have a pretty much a standard reaction. And the other thing, it, for me, is like the, to seriously look at what the prejudices and taboos are, and what are the triggers, what are the things that it signifies. What you know, like sort of what you know, like we said earlier, you w would think it was unusual or weird, or when you come across it in society, people like cross generational relationships. Yeah. Well, it's totally impractical, apart from anything else. Well, why impractical? Because well, I want from a younger person. I want their trust, I want their love, but I don't want their sex. Really? I don't want what to want to sex. No? <laughs> why not? I've been through all that. All that waiting for the phone to ring, all that emotion, all that does he, doesn't he, will he, won't he, all that sort of... Yeah. Oh, God, thank God that's over. I don't think I could ever go through the emotion. Because it's too emotionally demanding. Yeah. But I've always thought that that's a sort of a fundamental part of your life. That what would you replace that with? Wouldn't you feel the loss of that so desperately that you know that oh, you no, couldn't you be glad? Replace it with living. What kind of living? What kind of living? I mean, you suddenly feel if you haven't got a, somebody to worry about, you can travel, you can go, you can be free to be with who you want, where you want. There's so much in life to do. So you don't like you have just base physical desires then? No. You don't? No. I mean, did well, you? I, what do you like? I don't like old No, much, no. You know, and I've heard a lot of men, old men say I don't like old women particularly. You know, so... There's pornography with old women in it. Is there? Yeah. yeah. He looked at it. How old? Like, 80s. Seriously, sometimes you seem like really optimistic and like you just want to eat life and live all sorts of things. But then there's another aspect of your character that is just like, oh well, I'd rather just abandon that and close down that and you don't want that anymore. Yeah, you sort of, if you keep going down the lane where you get hurt, and you get sort of, you know, miserable. But it's really nice to stop going there. It's uh, midnight at the end of the first day with Wendy. Um, and I've come to realise that you know, Wendy is a very sweet, dignified, lovely lady. She's very sort of open. She's not sort of cliche or a stereotype. What she is essentially is, um, you know, somebody that it, it doesn't seem at all right to try and sort of secretly push Wendy towards a physical act. And not only that, it seems pointless. It seems like you wouldn't really achieve anything. She's been so sort of clear about, oh, well, I don't really have physical desires anymore. I still think there's loads to learn from it. And I think that Wendy's like really sort of positive, but I think, you know, as I say, trying to pursue her and sort of feel her up, I don't think is going to be particularly rewarding. Wendy sort of, I think, is an illustration of the uh, advantages of advancing years. She says, oh, it's, you know, now that I'm older, I don't feel under such pressure. She said, she was just now saying that, like, oh, if she'd been younger, she would have, wouldn't have been able to deal with me in the same way. She'd have felt under pressure and she would have flirted more and have been self-conscious and stuff like that. So, you know, they're sort of, the, they're, uh, so she's, I suppose, in a way, pointed out you know, different advantages to, to getting older. But, I mean, for, like, for us, obviously, we're, like, looking to make a, a program that like examines and shocks and exposes to booze and stuff and it's you know it's not going to be about that because because Wendy quite frankly don't you know she doesn't actually say that she doesn't have any kind of libido she doesn't have like because if like a, I could say to her well you know Wendy in the service of your happiness I'd be happy to perform a gratuitous sex act upon you or do you know do anything that for her that would just you know she'd just be appalled 
at the idea. I mean, I'll, you know, I'll still mention it, but she's made it sort of quite clear that that's not something that interests her. Hmm. So, the old, eh? They're just, you know, they're just like everyone else. That's, well, I suppose we should have known that anyway. So we've had, how long have we been to? We've been together over 24 hours now, have we? Yes. How have you found yes. it? Yes. Well, it's been great. I had a lovely time. Yeah. I really enjoyed it all. All of it. I can't think of any moments that haven't been fun. Our initial idea, and it seems like this probably is, I don't know whether it's patronising or whether it's naive or it's just stupid, it was like that sort of we wanted uh, to meet you and then come down here and see, like, uh, if I could seduce you. That was the idea, you know, to see if, like, I don't know, that if we could either have sex or kisses or something explicit. Well, we had kisses. We had kisses, we had right? kisses, yes. Because, uh, and, and, and I was thinking about why that is, and, and the reason that I wanted to do it is because people don't do it, because it isn't sort of, because, because other people think it's weird and unusual, that mm. makes me want to do it. But sort of having met you, it, that, it like, seems like a, a inappropriate, um, you know, inappropriate way to behave. What do you think about that idea? Like, you know, say that, you know, you know having sex with me, what do you think about that? Well, I don't really want to have sex with anyone. Don't you know, I? it's nothing personal. Well, I'm a bit hurt. <laughs> I won't pretend that don't wound me, Wendy. It's something to do with your hormones. You know, one of, one of the good things about growing old... Well, I mean, I'm only talking for myself. Of course. There are probably lots of old ladies who you could have brought down here who would have been delighted to be seduced. Do you think so? You told me that you saw a porn film which had... And porno mags of, like, yeah, women with, in their 70s and 80s. And 80s. I couldn't believe that. No. You know, I was oh, just, we should show you some. just amazed. I sort of thought... I mean, who watches them? Does anybody want to see a sort of an old lady having sex? Does Apparently, it yeah. Apparently, you know, it's a particular sort of, you know, sort of fetish. I think, you know, if you had sort of seriously tried to seduce me, I'd probably have laughed. You'd have laughed? Yes. Yeah. I, I don't think I'd have taken you seriously. Yeah, really? Mm. Why? Because of your uh, impression of yourself? It's, um... Hmm. I don't know, when you... I don't feel sexy anymore. Right. Yeah, you I said that when we went, when yes, went swimming. Anymore. It's sort of, um, I can't believe it, really. And it would just all seem, oh, God, you know, and, and maybe, oh, I don't know. It, it probably is the hormones, but I just don't feel sexy anymore. You actually don't, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. So if, I, I mean, never think about <clears> it. I never sort of, um, I do occasionally, you know, sort of think, I love young men's bottoms. I think they're lovely. I don't want to do anything about them, but I just think when I see young men... You like their bottoms? Around, I love their bottoms. I just think they're gorgeous. I want to go and sort of pat them, but it's... Well, we can have a it's, pat you know, It's bottom. purely sort of, you know... Oh, isn't that? I think you've got a lovely bum, that boy. You know, it's something that... But, uh, but it's, it's not really sexy. It's just not something sexy, I appreciate. Well, it's just more a tactile thing. Yeah. Because, well, then, in that case... Oh, my God, yours is wobbly. <laughs> hey, you can't have <laughs> my bottom. Hold on, let me tense it up now. Well, tense it up. There. That's better, yeah, Come that's on, it's better. Like a piece of raw time. That's much better. <laughs> I did it before, it was like jelly. <laughs> Wendy! <laughs> it was like mine. <laughs> no, your bottom is lovely. Ah, oh, thank you mm. very much. <laughs> this is nice. This is nice. Yeah. Well, see, but, uh, see I, didn't, I kind of just thought, because what I, this is the assumptions and prejudices that I came to the situation with. I thought, um, like, I figured that people, like, you know, that old people would still be into the idea of sex, but they just never spoke about it out of a kind of some sort of shyness or something, and because it wasn't socially acceptable. So I thought, you know, oh, if I was able to sort of strip away all the levels of taboo and training and hullabaloo and conditioning and nonsense, that beneath that would be a, a sexually rampant Wendy Danvers, and like that you'd, you know, just be glad of the make, opportunity. I have to make one slight confession. <gasps> yeah? I wouldn't be 100% certain, I mean 100% certain, what might not happen if there hadn't been a camera. Really? I mean, I wouldn't be 100% certain. God, I've got, I've got, I, right, this is, because this is my job, I have to ask these questions when they come into my mind, okay, so please forgive me, right, so, like, you say you, like, no longer feel sexy, does, does that mean in a, that you don't masturbate? Yeah. It does, you don't? Yeah, no. Did you when you were sexually active? 
When I was, uh, I think, all really teenagers. Uh, really? Do. But I think everyone does, don't they? I mean, like I don't know. know. I mean, I, I yeah. think everybody does. I mean, it's, it's, it's because, I mean, it was one of those things again that was sort of frightful. I mean, we were told that if we did, we'd turn into men and all sorts of things like that. Really? You don't want to turn into a man. If you do that, you turn into a man. Good Lord! If someone had told me I could change my species by <laughs> masturbation, I'd have spent my entire adolescence in bathrooms, <laughs> transforming and mutating <laughs> into leopard boy, <laughs> leopard lady. <laughs> Wow, that's a strange way to educate people, telling them they'll do it. Oh, there's an awful isn't lot it? of strange education. It was a good chat we've had. It was a very good chat on the beach, yes. I enjoy talking to you. I think I talk an awful lot of drivel sometimes. Oh, yeah. you do, I get yeah, you go what I'm, right on. I, yeah, I get halfway through <laughs> what I'm saying, and I think to myself, what the fuck am I talking about? <gasps> Ow, <wait. laughs> See, you're having a very bad influence on me. <laughs> you should go back home. <laughs> Chasing sweet lady H and sleeping with boy prostitutes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have a maxi. Excuse me, would you mind if I asked you some questions, please? Okay. This is Wendy, right? Wendy and I are in love. We're thinking about getting married, we're not sure. We're thinking about it's, it. It's okay. <laughs> a lot of people say that, that he's just in it for the money, but that can't be true because I'm not rich. So she's got no money, she's money. poor. All the money goes gambling. They also say that I'm in it for the sex. Do you love her? No, not really. It's just the sex. <laughs> yeah. He's very good at it. We have a, we do have a, you know. Would you like a boyfriend who was much older than you? Would you like an old man as a boyfriend? Me not bossy, but if he was amazingly stunningly gorgeous, yeah, and had a really good sense of humour as well. I wonder what tips you could give me as a couple on having a successful relationship. Sharing and caring, something. Sharing. Oh. Sharing. Can I have a bit of ice cream, please? Filthy, disgusting, set all over the place, leaping about, <laughs> grunting. Give and take. Give and take. Give and take. So sharing and caring, yeah. and give and take. And there's blood up the walls, poo sometimes. <laughs> all poo. Ask, ask, I mean, ask, ask, behave yourself. Sorry, that's private, yeah, you're a private lady. Yeah. Sense of humour's important, is it? Yeah. yeah. That's quite a bit. I've got a really big cock. <gasps> that was wicked, Wendy. That was funny, no? <laughs> I did, did you think I was taking it too far when I went there was poo everywhere? Oh god yes! <laughs> <laughs> that was my favourite bit. <laughs> Should we go back? Should we go back to London now, Wendy? I've yeah, had quite enough of this madness. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? We we'll go back to London. Let's yes, go back to yes, London. Let's go back to London. Come on. Although well, we've had crazy times in Eastbourne. Be crazy times. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you'll miss me? Yes, I will miss you. What? Maybe you'll think about me and stuff. Oh yeah. Hey, are you going to give me? Are you going to give me your phone number then? Yeah. Thank you for your okay. Thank you for everything. It's been really lovely. And, and education and everything. Yeah, that's lovely. Bye bye. Bye then, Wendy. Miss oh. you. I miss you too. Miss you already, so oh. Bless your heart. Thank you, Thank you for everything. Bye bye, bye, -bye sweetheart. Take care. Oh. Oh. Oh, she looked all sad, bless her heart. That was so sweet. Well, the best bit was at the end when she started to have a laugh with us. Then I thought, honestly, oh, so you can totally have a relationship with her. You could use the old to torment people. It's a right royal rollicking laugh. Bless her heart. You know, I think, uh, yeah, I think that in the end we did prove something. We proved that you could have sort of relationships across the generations, you know. Sexual ones probably ain't a good idea, but friendships, it's not a problem at all. All right. <laughs>